Here's another example. We're told to find the slope of the line shown, and two points are already marked here, and those points conveniently coincide to places where those grid lines intersect, which makes it a little bit easier. So let's call the point on the left point 1, and the one on the right point 2, and imagine moving from point 1 to point 2, and in doing so we go, we have, we have a certain vertical change, in this case it's going down, and a certain horizontal change. And the vertical change is the rise, and the horizontal change is the run. Now in this case, we're going down, and the rise is defined as how far up you go. So if the rise is how far it rises, and in this case we go down, that means the rise is negative. So just take note of the fact that the rise there is negative. That's because when we go from point 1 to point 2, we've gone down vertically. The run is positive 4. So the slope, which is defined as rise over run, is negative 3 over 4. You could say negative 0.75 if you want to. But that's the slope of that line, negative 3 fourths. And take note of the fact that the slope is negative and that this graph goes down as we go from left to right. And in general, if you have a graph that is going up as you move from left to right, we say that the graph is rising. And if you have a graph that is going down as you go from left to right, as is the case here, then we say that the graph is falling. And a graph that is rising will have a positive slope. And a graph that is falling has a negative slope. And in this particular case, the graph is falling, and the slope is negative. OK, two more examples, and these will be fast. We're told to find the slope of each line. And once again, some points are marked, which makes it pretty convenient. And always think from left to right. So that's point 1, and that's point 2. And as we move from point 1 to point 2, we go up 4 and over 1. So the rise is 4 and the run is 1, and the slope is rise over run, so the slope in this case is 4. You could write 4 over 1, but it's typical to just write 4. In the next example, these two points are marked here, and as we go from point 1 to point 2, you can see that we go down 1 and over 2. So the rise here is negative 1, and the run is 2, so the slope is negative 1 over 2, or negative 1 half.